Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Badger Breakdown. I'm Mike Lucas from UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. Matt, every time a team plays in a bowl, you have to address the layoff. To what extent do you think the layoff will affect either of the teams, Wisconsin or TCU? It's interesting, Mike, because there's two schools of thought. I mean, we've talked to guys who've played in this Rose Bowl game, and they talk about you have so much adrenaline going that you're, you, you know, you have that going for you early. But then you talk to Paul Chris, the offensive coordinator, and he says, you know, you do have to go through that, you know, readjust to the speed of the game. You can only scrimmage so much, and scrimmages are different from from actual games, so I think it's something that every team faces every year. I think TCU, having played in a BCS game, though, at least out of the gate, might have at least some advantage in terms of the experience in being in a game such as this. Perseverance might be a key word, too, if, in fact, the Badgers get off to a slow start. Uh, we can bring up the game that they played against Stanford in the 2000 Rose Bowl terrible first half, but they hung in there, they persevered, and found a way to win in the end. And I think in, in that case, clearly Wisconsin was the better team. It was not. It was a good Stanford team, wasn't a great Stanford team, and, and the Badgers were really terrific th you know, throughout the course of that season from game five on. I think this year, Mike, if that scenario unfolds, Wisconsin could just look at being in some tough spots, uh, be it against Iowa, be it against you know even Arizona State. They've been in tough spots where I think, to me, that's a test for TCU. It, it, it hasn't trailed very much this season, so maybe Wisconsin in that regard has a little more experience having to bounce back from getting hit. One of the layups for most of the writers covering this game is one of the central themes, and that would be the size of Wisconsin versus the speed of TCU. But when you look at the numbers very closely, TCU has some size on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it's it's really a an overrated and maybe an inaccurate you know description to say this is strictly size versus speed. TCU's offensive line is very very big. Patrick Buttram, Badger defensive tackle, has said that look, this TCU front is probably the best they're going to face all year. They have guys TCU on defense who can run. That's that's a priority with how they recruit but they also have size as well. Tail of the tape, and it even says so in the TCU notes, very much even. Well, when you look at Wisconsin, the turnover ratio has been so very important to this team. Only nine giveaways for Wisconsin this season. How important could that be in the ballgame? To me, I think it, it's critical for Wisconsin if it continues to do what it's been doing, protect the football, don't commit penalties, move the chains. I'm really curious to see how TCU's defense, as good as it is, and it's, it's been a great defense this year, last year, and the year before, but it only plays 54 snaps a game. So if Wisconsin can do what it does, control the clock, time of possession, I'm curious to see how TCU will hold up as the game gets late into the third quarter and on into the fourth. That's a good point, too. TCU's trailed in the second half only once this year. Horn Frogs not used to playing a lot of close games. No, they they're really not. I mean, they the uh, San Diego State game they got off to a slow start and then took control of the game. San Diego State had a little bit of a rally. So again, this is where Wisconsin has been in these four quarter games: Arizona State, Ohio State, Iowa. Now, obviously, the Badgers were rolling late, but even that Purdue game, if you look back, there was some doubt early in the fourth quarter before Wisconsin was able to, to punch a couple more scores in and, and make it look like a much more convincing game than it was. And you might want to keep an eye on number 85 for TCU. That would be Jeremy Curley for Wisconsin. David Gohry, they could factor into the outcome. Yeah, do all type of players. Curley, in fact, uh, you know, he, he knows how to throw the football as well. I mean, they, he's thrown the ball. He can run it out of the backfield. Excellent receiver, excellent return man. David Gilreath can run it pretty well, too, as a return man, and they use him on that fly sweep. That's worked pretty well as well. I almost forgot how much fun it is to be at a Rose Bowl. But in the words of Barry Alvarez, it's one thing to get here, but you got to finish the deal. And that was, that's what I liked about it, that rally they had at, at the pier on, on uh, Thursday. J.J. Watt, the last player to speak, said, you know, we didn't come here to go on vacation. We didn't travel 2,000 miles to have a vacation. The Badgers came here to win a football game, and I think those words speak for everybody connected with this Wisconsin program. For Matt LePay, I'm Mike Lucas. Thanks for watching UWBadgers.com.